Hey YouTube, it is Abbott. Now the last thing I expected to be doing today was a video on a children's cereal called Lucky Charms. I know we've all had it before in the past. We probably, some of us probably still give things like that to our children to eat for breakfast or for a snack. But I have to follow what the Rua Kakadash is telling me to do and I have to make this video. So... I was watching a video earlier today from this gentleman's channel that I'll show you. His, he's got a few channels, but the one that he put the video on was called Rise Up Warrior. And I'm going to put the link in the descrip description box for that video. But here's the thing. This cereal is now causing diarrhea and vomiting in people that eat this cereal with or without milk. Now, I do not believe this cereal has been recalled as of yet, but look out. So I looked at the current box of the cereal and I looked up the number. The little leprechaun has brown skin. Now everyone knows that is a Hebrew Israelite, that black people, Hebrew Israelites, Negroes, whatever you want to call us, we are the original Irish. Okay. And if you don't believe me, go to bigjudah.com and do your own research. He also has a YouTube channel under the name Big Judah. I'm not here to argue about it one way or the other. Do your own research before you come against information, please. I'm not in the mood. So I looked at the current box <clears throat> and the little leprechaun has brown skin, okay? Obviously a melanated little creature, but he has blue eyes and red hair. And we know that signifies the devil. So once again, do that research on your own if you don't believe me. He is holding up eight fingers. The number eight means. I got this information from BibleStudy.org. The number eight in the Bible represents a new beginning, meaning a new order or creation. And man's true born again event when he is re resurrected from the dead into eternal life. Now we all know this is the Sabbath today and this is... Passover. People are celebrating Passover this weekend. So I really find it strange that this would be happening with this cereal this weekend. I'm getting this revelation this weekend and it's also Passover. So I'm going to link this gentleman's articles in the description. This is where I got the information from. And see how the leprechaun is holding up eight fingers. They're mocking the rainbow, calling this cereal Lucky Charms, when we all know we are the Most High's jewelry. Lucky Charms, Most High's jewelry, rainbows. And they added three new rainbows. So they're obviously distorting the rainbow. So then I got to thinking, I was like, let me go back and look at previous boxes. Okay, so that's what I did. He's magical. They're magically delicious. Remember that? That's their slogan. They're totally mocking the Most High's children with this cereal. And we're purchasing it, eating it, and giving it to our children. And I think the Most High has made this cereal go bad. And he's doing it on purpose. Look at this. The rainbow is coming out of this little leprechaun's hands with his blue eyes. Wow. And as I make this video, a helicopter is passing over my house. So ex excuse the noise. Galactic Lucky Charms. They know we're from the stars. They know we're from the stars. This is such mockery of the Most High and his children. This is a shame. And I repent for ever eating it. But I didn't know. I did not know until today. It didn't even hit me. So I'm just like looking at some of these cereal boxes like, wow. <laughs> wow. This is absolute shame. Yep, this is the box here. This one actually looks like an evil leprechaun. They're magically delicious. They know we're the original druids. We are the magical people. We have the Most High's magic. This is total mockery, and I feel like the Most High is tired of it, and he may bring the cereal all the way down, and I hope that he does. So do some research for yourself. I just wanted to bring this guy to your attention like I am told to do. And then I thought about the candy Starburst. 
I don't know if you guys still eat that candy, but it has pork in it. It's made with pork. And the slogan is, taste the rainbow. <laughs> we are so being mocked and people don't realize it. I didn't realize it until today. So this cereal is made by General Mills. Hopefully it will be recalled, but I'm really excited and astonished really that I figured this out on Passover. So share this information, like, share, subscribe. Shalom family.